This video is on Half-Life and I'm going to give you 10 different questions. Let's start with the first one. So you are given a count rate against time graph which is very common of a radioactive source after a few hours. So that's how the graph will look like for a typical count rate time graph. And because this question never mentioned about background radiation, you can safely assume that the background radiation has been taken out. Okay, so the count rate here is purely from the radioactive source. So if the initial count rate is 2000, you know that from 2000, after that, after one half life, it will go to 1000. So from here, you look at the graph here, and that is how you determine the half life, which is just five hours. All right. So in the duration of uh, 20 hours later, what will be the count rate? So number of half-life in that 20 hours duration will be 20 divided by 5 so four half-lives have passed all right so what, how do you find the count rate so we can go by this method so starting from 2000 after one half-life it will be 1000 then goes to 500 then goes to 250 and that's only three half-life you have one more one two five so after four half-life 20 hours the count rate will be 125 counts per hour. So the answer will be C. This question is on carbon dating. So when an animal dies, each gram of carbon will emit 16 beta particles per minute. So if you discover some animal remains, so this remains actually emits 4 beta particles per minute. So how old will this animal remains be with the given information and it's also given that the half-life of this radioactive carbon is 6,000 years. So firstly, the original is 16 and then the remain is 4. So 16 after one half-life will be 8 beta particles per minute. Then after another half-life, it will be 4 beta particles. So from here, we know that two half-lives have passed. So how, how old is the animal remains? So since one half-life is 6,000 and there are two half-life that has passed, so the total uh, number of years for this animal remains will be 12,000 years. So the answer will be C. In this question, a researcher wants to use a radioactive source with a count rate of 100 counts per second. For experiment, he, starts to, he wants to start at 10 a.m. So at 9 a.m. he prepares four different sources and each of them has a count rate of 400 per second. So that means one thing to take note is from 9 to 10 a.m. is a duration of one hour or 60 minutes. All right. So the next thing you need to know is so from 400 you want after one half life it will becomes 200 per second and then after another half-life then it will go to the 100 counts per second that's the requirement so in other words <coughs> two half-life has passed and in the duration of one hour okay or 60 minutes so since two half-life will take 60 minutes so that means one half-life will take 60 divided by 2 will be 30 minutes so I should choose a source which has a half-life of 30 minutes so that when one hour has passed, two half-life has gone. So it will the count rate will be just 900 counts per second. So the answer is C. In this question, you're given a table instead of a count per second against time. So, so the question asks you what is the half-life of the substance. Now, so the starting is 114. Alright, so if it's after one half life, that means the count rate would reduce by half. So 114 will reduce by half divided by 2 will go nicely to 57. Alright, so that means the duration 30 minutes here will be the half life. So this one, the answer will be C. So if you were to plot the graph here, so initially it's 114. So when it's 57 counts per second, this will be 30. So 30 will be the half-life. You're given the half-life of a radioactive material is 24 years and the activity of a sample falls to a fraction of its initial value after 72 years. What is this fraction of the remaining? So 
Same thing, you have to find number of half-life that has passed in the duration of 72 years. So 72 divided by half-life 24, you will get three half-lives. So in terms of fraction, since of each half-life has passed, half of the uh, sample will be gone. Am I right? So if there are three half-life, the fraction will be half times two half-life times the third half-life, uh, third half-life. Then the answer will be one eight. So that means one eight of the sample remains, or in other words, seven eight has been decayed off. Now sometimes in some textbook or whatever, they just do this half times since three half life has passed. They put the cube here, so the answer will be the same one eight. So D will be the answer. Now this is another question on fraction and the radioactive isotope has a half-life of 2 minutes here and what can you deduce about this statement? Now just like previous question, if you know that a one quarter of the isotope remains, that means to say half times half you will get one quarter remains. So that means two half-life will have passed so the duration will be 4 minutes. So this two definitely will be wrong. So, and C will be the answer because in two half-life, since one half-life is two minutes, two half-life will be two times two, that will be four minutes. In four minutes, a quarter of the isotope remains, all right? So that C will be the answer. So in this question, you are given that the half-life of the radioactive X is four years and the initial count is 8,000 atoms. So how many years will the sample contain 1,000 atoms. So this is in terms of atoms. So initially it's 8,000. After one half-life, it will be 4,000. Then another half-life has passed, it will be 2,000. Then finally goes to 1,000. So if you count here, there are three half-lives all together. So the number of years that is required to bring it down from 8,000 to 1,000 will be three times the half-life which is 4, so total duration 12 years, C. So in this question, you are given the wood contains this amount of carbon-14 and the nuclei undergo decay and the half-life is 5,600 years. So how many carbon-14 nuclei remain in the sample after this duration? So since we are given the duration here, we are going to find number of half-life using 6 18,800 years divided by the half-life of the carbon-14, 5,600 years, so you will get three half-life. Next, let's start from the original uh, sample, which is 9.0 times 10 to the power of 16 nuclei. After one half-life, it will be half, which is 4.5 times 10 to the power of 16. Then another half-life has gone, 2.25 times 10 to the power 16 and finally the third half-life it will become 1.125 by round to 1.1 times 10 to the power 16. So there's the amount that's left so the answer is B. Okay question 9 the count rate of a radioactive source falls from 4000 counts per minute to 500 counts per minute in the duration of 72 minutes. So they ask you what is the half-life. So since you are given in terms of counts per minute so I'll start with 4,000 after one half life, it will be 2,000, then it will go to 1,000, and finally 500. So, altogether, three half lives have passed in the duration of 72 minutes. So, what is the half life? You will take 72 divided by 3, so you will get 24 minutes. So, that will be the half life, and the answer will be D. Now the last question here will involve the background radiation. So a source has a radioactive material here. Without the radioactive source present, the detector records a background count of 20 counts per minute, okay, from the cosmic ray or natural form underground, those radioactive material. So this source is now placed in a fixed position near the detector. And initially the count rate of 520 counts per minute is recorded. So what count rate is recorded after a time of two half-lives? So first of all, this 520, that means to say the background radiation is being recorded also. So we need to remove the background radiation. So starting with 500 per minute, that is from the source, the radioactive source. 
So after one half life, it will become two five zero, and another half life because I want two half life, it will be one two five, uh, per minute counts per minute, okay. But one two five is not the answer because in your detector, it will detect the radio uh radioactive source plus the background radiation. So this is just the radioactive source. You need to add back the background radiation of 20. Therefore, the detector will show you one four fine counts per minute on the device itself. So the answer will be D. So of course, the common mistake by students is they usually will forget to add back the background radiation. All right, so just be mindful of that. So I hope this video will give you an overview of how to solve questions on Half-Life. Alright, thank you.